Hello. It's almost like time. Yay. Squee. What are you looking for? The what? It was right on the floor right there. Near my guitar. <laughs> you found it? Okay, good. Okay, so. This is stupid. Pastor Dave. Among many things. Oh dear. So... Yeah, he was not answering. Prepare for a nap. <laughs> you bundle up your knittings into a cozy nest. You aren't all that tired, though. It's hard to imagine falling asleep without the luxury of Harley's narcolepsy. A future dream rose ceased to exist. I don't think that's how it works. Is it? Wait, that's Jasper's, isn't it? I can't tell if it's Muty. Me and Wilst. Hmm. That looks comfy. Yeah, pretty handy. Uh, Troll GC, Dave Sprite. Load picture. Is my internet going to do stupid things again? Yes, it's going to do stupid things again. Oh, okay, here we go. He's still got his uh, iPhone iPhones. Turned to get head to TG, began trolling Gallo's calibrator GC. Don't talk to John anymore, he's an impressionable doofus. Your plan didn't work. I mean, it did, but then suddenly it didn't. So you might as well quit trying. You smell like orange creamsicles. What? You're aliens. Do you even have orange creamsicles? Of course, what kind of awful civilization wouldn't invent orange creamsicles? Not one I'd want anything to do with. Okay, pretty far-fetched, but whatever. No more hijinks from you, because I'll make sure they won't work. <clears throat> All these voices are going to make my throat hurt. Man. Well, obviously I knew it wasn't going to work. My friends have been talking to John from the future. Your future. Where he's not dead. So there was no way what I did was going to kill him. I just wanted to mess with him and stuff. I don't think you're following. You did kill him, sort of. Then I went back in time to stop him. Yeah, I guess there was a chance something like that might happen. Alright, but did you guess that by trolling John to his grave and making me splinter us off into an alternate timeline, that you were basically complicit in making our timeline go the way it was supposed to go all along, where future me is now helping Dave and me just keep playing, and our actions ultimately lead to the trouble you're all in now, thus leading us all to troll you incompetently? Leading you all to troll us incompetently, yes. Oh. No. I didn't think of that. Yeah, see... None of you ever thinks anything through. Who's in charge of the timeline management here? I gotta give him the business. She doesn't want to talk to any of you, and has misgivings about this whole thing. Not all of us are that enthusiastic about trolling you guys. And the ones who are sort of suck at it. Well, at least you got John off, to him, to off himself, so I guess you're not totally incompetent like the others. Like that awful rapper. So John actually did what I said? Yeah. I'm telling you. Huge pushover. He will do what you say... Unless it happens to be for his own good. Then all of a sudden, he's a tough nut to crack. Go figure. Now I feel kind of bad. Are you sure I can't talk to him? Even if it's just to apologize? Would that be okay with you, Sir Brave Knight? Yeah, that's fine, I guess. No more coy bullshit antics, though. Not even, like, an idiotic, angry, winking emote. Or what? You gonna hunt me down through time? Oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah. You do realize I'm way higher on my echelon than you, even if you are from the future. Are you sure you want to get your clocked... Your clocked cleaned? I don't think that was supposed to be past tense. Are you sure you want to get your clock cleaned by a blind chick? Okay, even if that's true. I just merged with an impaled orange goddamn bird, and now I got all these crazy powers. 
Ugh, self-prototyping, so dumb. This is why you all screw up so bad. Always bending the rules like that. Oh well, can't stop you now, so I might as well drop it. Hey Dave. What? I've been researching some of your Earth soap operas. Is this you? The timing of this shirt could never have been better. I was not expecting that. Wow. Homestuck, are you reading my mind? Oh, Jigas, fuck no. Why would that breathtaking douche reminded you of me at all? But he has a fiery personality. Sort of brash and impetuous. And in your face. Like fire itself. No, I know you're bullshitting me. Do I seem like the kind of guy who'd accept a magic ring from Whoopi Goldberg? To awaken some egregious homo fantasy for a ripped blue dude's mammoth eco-friendly bulge. The guy's an asshole and needs to be sealed in a duffel bag and whipped something ungodly with a bamboo shoot. It was Whoopi Goldberg. Who cares? Okay, I made some modifications. This is so you, Dave. Come on, admit it. Gold star, you tried. <laughs> okay, yeah, that is pretty much fucking spot on. You're actually a pretty good troll. As long as you don't bug John, I guess that's all there is to say on the matter. Thanks, Dave. To be fair, I'm sure every one of us wishes we thought of future self-prototyping first. So, you're not really all that terrible. Chill with Dave? Who are you talking to? Just telling a troll to step off. Okay, cool. So, now that you're a sprite, do you know everything about the game? Well, I knew a lot anyway, because I'm from the future. But yeah, I know more stuff now. Like, things meant specifically for sprites to clue players in on. Packaged in these, like, I guess riddles. I'm supposed to be cagey about it, but I don't really feel like it. Ask me anything, go ahead, I'll give you a straight answer. Alright, here goes. Why are we so fucking awesome? That's the best fucking question anybody ever asked. Yeah, so is everything cool with this John business? Is he gonna be okay? That's up to him, if he decides to wise up and listen to us. If not, then we just bail everyone out yet again. Okay. All that gear you picked up should let you breeze through the first couple gates, even at a low level. Later you'll unlock the ability to bring your sprite down with you, and we'll take care of shit together. Till then I guess just mess around and let Jade build up or whatever. I'll go kill some time. Maybe draw some comics. Like what? I don't know. What's the last one you did? I was in the middle of the non-show party arc. Oh uh, yeah, I gave up on that halfway through. Yeah, that was sort of the plan. Making a ten-part story about non-shows was always a bullshit idea. Let's do some brainstorming later. Blow everyone's minds. Yeah, sure. Bump. Meanwhile, hundreds of pages ago. Um, you open the package. There is something suspicious inside. Something suspiciously dirty and smelly? Hmm. Am I supposed to be rereading this? Is it the same? Is it different? Um, I don't remember. I don't think we read this part. So hey, since it's your B-Day, I had to get you back for the sick memorabilia you got me. So I got you this god-awful thing, and now I just know you're standing there flipping your shit over it, so you're welcome. It's the actual gross bunny in the movie, so that means Nick Cage actually grubs it up with his clownish no-talent fingers. I would suggest you put it somewhere and display it ironically, but I know you're dead serious about this ridiculous shit, so you'll probably sleep with the damn thing and nibble its ear and stuff. But the weird thing is, that's what's cool about you. You're this naive guy like Pinocchio tumbled ass backwards off the turnip truck and started li liking Ghostbusters. <laughs> then the fairy godmother kissed your nose or some shit and you turn out to be not made of wood and also pretty cool to talk to. One day your gooberish waves are gonna le land you in a jam and I know I'm gonna have to get you off the hook, but it's cool, I got your back, bro. Then we'll meet and hug, bump, and get each other's filthy wife beaters that much filthier, so yeah. Peace, dog. DG. It must be really difficult to get your handwriting to intentionally look like that. I have never met anybody who writes that way. <coughs> so John remembered this? Reconsider. Which probably looks backwards to you guys, so let me do that over again. Reconsider. Snoop Dogg. Oh yeah. Down he goes. Get pestered by Dave. Did you blast off like a spazzy douche yet or what? 
Yeah, of course. There was no way I wasn't trying out the sweet ride. God damn it, what do I have to do to make you believe me? Fist bump my future self till I get bloody knuckles and write? And write you an even sappier birthday note in my own blood? On a Back to the Future poster? Relax, I'm not going through the gate. I'm just flying around having a good time in the sky. Oh, okay. So you believe me, then, about future me. And, like, him turning into a floating sword bird. Um, okay, I didn't know anything about that, but it doesn't matter. You're my best bro, and if you say not, say not to go, then I won't go. Hey, can you hold on? I'm getting trolled again. Oh man, and if we've just concluded anything, it's that talking to those D-bags should be a priority number one, so yeah, go right ahead. Okay, BRB. Get trolled by CG. <coughs> this is hard today. What the hell's wrong with me? Oh, gross. Bleach is on TV. You passed out. I keep scrolling backwards through your adventure, trying to piece together how you botched this up so badly, and I keep finding these striking pockets of foolishness. Like what you're doing right now, running your little red rocket like you're some freshly hatched human larva, and this is just an all big school hive rumpus respite. Humans aren't hatched as larvae, dummy. We don't hatch at all. We are born to see like little pink monkeys called babies. Bullshit, that's not what you just told me. What did I say? I'll paste what you said. I thought you didn't like going down that road, copy-pasting future past conversations. Why would I have a problem with that? I don't know, it's what you just told me. Whatever, look. This is really weird. What's so weird about it? Well, normally humans hatch from like these slimy pods. Then we wriggle out as little pink larvae. Oh, really? Huh, maybe you have more in common than I thought. <laughs> I was punking you, dude. Or at least I will be in our next conversation. Thanks for the great prank idea. Ugh. Why would you trick me about that? What is even the point? I don't know, it was just a friendly prank. Don't you ever play pranks? I mean, of course you do. Why don't you just try to prank me good? What? Who? Pfft, you'll find out. Well, fine. I guess you got me back, sort of. For my trolling, even though you haven't even read my worst trolling efforts yet. Because they happen in your future. And even then you didn't read even mine much. Almost like you were delighted to hear it. Kind of perverse, really. What's wrong with you? Well, we're friends by then, aren't we? Or sort of like, uh, reverse anti-mutual friends? What the hell does that even mean? Look, you're going to have to face it at some point. That you're learning the meaning of this human emotion called friendship. Is friendship really an emotion? Yes, absolutely. I guess it's hard to see how we became friends. This is so frustrating. Every time I go further back into your past and talk to you, you say stuff that pertains to my immediate future. And then you won't explain to me what's going on, because it's already old news for you. Dude, you've been doing the exact same thing. I've done no such thing. I've been exceptionally informative and helpful, if justifiably acrimonious. You never answer my questions, though. How am I supposed to know what's going on or what you're alluding to? This game is kind of a game of a million guides. Everywhere you turn, there's another way to figure out what's going on. So please, go secrete me an Earth River for your strange human tear ducts. You've got sprites, exiles, guardians, consorts, time-hopping future selves, mystical dream oracle doppelgangers. And if that wasn't enough, your particular group of players is lucky enough to have us give you the scoop on stuff. Through a sort of subversion of the whole damn thing. Even though we hate you. And even though the fact that we hate you is an immutable fact as unalterable as this writhing, knotted hell of a timeline choking us all to death does not mean we have any reason to withhold any information from you, or dish it out through crypto-baffling mind fuddlery. So go ahead, ask me anything. Okay, what's the point of the game? Ask something else. I already told you that. It was this whole big conversation we had. Ugh, fine. Where are you now? In the medium, a separate session from yours. No, no, I know that. You already told me. I did? Yes, in your future. Damn it. What I mean is... Are you in your house right now, or in one of your magical lands, or what? Just curious, because you can see me, but I can't see or know anything about you. We're hiding in the veal. What's left of it? What's that? It's a huge belt of meteors orbiting way outside Skya, beyond the orbit of the planets, dividing the medium from the furthest ring. Excuse me. Or Durst orbits. Durst? A dark planet. Prospects the light one near Skya. Well, geez, how am I supposed to know any of this? You'll probably find out sooner or later from your dumb grandma. 
But by fusing with the sprite, she has to withhold stuff and be mysterious and all to make your adventure seem more magical. It's infuriating. Okay, so the veal is a bunch of meteors. What do you mean, what's left of it? Okay, there comes a time when black inevitably beats white on the battlefield in the center of Skya. The white king is captured or killed or something. That's when the reckoning starts. Okay. The rulers of Durst, the black king and queen, get the power to send the veal towards Skya to destroy it. It sort of starts your big countdown when shit gets serious. So then it's up to us to save it? Yeah, you have that long... You have that long to kill the Black Queen and King, and Skya itself sort of buys you some time by activating its defense portals to catch some of the meteors. The threat gets bigger the longer you take, though. Smaller meteors come first, and they get progressively bigger and bigger, and there's only so much of them Skya can absorb for you. Okay, but it sounds like we've got plenty of time before that happens, right? That's just it. You don't. Ordinarily you would, but your reckoning starts much sooner. Because of some dumb things you've done, you completely blew it already, and you have no chance of winning anymore. Which ordinarily would be fine, just another bunch of losers to fail at this game. It's what you do later that causes so much more trouble than that. And now we have to deal with it too. Oh no, what is it? Already told you. It's inevitable and completely pointless to talk about anyway. Yeah, well, maybe you're wrong. Maybe there's something we can still do to stop it, if you just help us. I'm not wrong, it's all right here in front of me, you fuck up royally. End of story. Okay, we'll see about that, Mr. Sourbulge. Hey, aren't you kind of uncomfortable sitting on a meteor? Are you all huddled in a crater or something? No, it's all kind of crazy shit in the veil. Lots of these meteors are kind of like big seeds. Seeds? Um, well, what kind of crazy shit is there? Stuff like buildings, facilities, like labs and stuff. Weird. Yeah, the veil is kind of like neutral ground for the kingdoms, like our planets. Some places are used to genetically engineer soldiers and agents for the two sides, using genetic material from the exotic menagerie of chess pieces on the battlefield to help fuel the war and keep raising the stakes. Wow, I don't think I'm following this. Yeah, no shit. But you'll find out when you get there, since you were in the veal when we last talked. Anyway, that's more enough info for you to think about and be less stupid in time for conversations you've already had. I'm out of here. Okay, but wait. Can you give a message to GC for me? Tell her a nice try. What? Why would I give her a message for you? Do it yourself. I'm not a relay service. Oh, well, I thought you'd be cool with it since you asked me to give her a message for you last time. But whatever. I find that highly implausible. I'm not falling for any more human pranks. Nice try, John. <laughs> Carcinogeneticist, CG, deceased trolling ectobiologist, EB. Oh my god. I'm killing myself over here. Uh, Jack, ascend? What's Jack doing? <coughs> wow, actual words. I'm amazed. Cheers. Hmm, seems kind of bored. <laughs> she wants you to cross dress for her fanfiction fantasies here. You will put on the dress. Just enjoy it, babe. How can you resist? Oh. 
all that from cutting off her finger. And he has usurped the throne. Mm -hmm. That didn't take long. Hmm. I see. So they take on aspects of everyone's sprite nonsense. Huh. I guess I've reached the end. In the first year. How beautiful. And what I meant by I caught that was a uh, cat. Um, for anybody who really didn't pay attention in biology, there are four base pairs in DNA. And uh, I didn't really get that much sleep and I kind of don't feel well that right now, so my brain's a little off. But the letters are C, G, T, and A. And if you're working with RNA, U instead of one of them. I can't remember which one. That's why every one of the trolls, there are uh, handles. And uh, the kids, too, except for John, who changed his uh, ghostly trickster, would have matched with the sequencing, is uh, every combination of the four, making 16 in total. Cat, with a couple of Gs thrown in, can be made out of the letters involved in uh, the DNA nucleotides. So I'm guessing that's what it was a reference to. Locate fourth wall. Oh, there it is. Activate. Oh, hello, Hussy. Or as I like to call him, Hussy. Engage in highly self-indulgent self-insertion into sorry. What? Oh, hell no. This is always such a terrible idea. Leave me alone. And I really should, if I were so inclined, to read all of his lines with a really heavy Boston accent. So it would be a terrible idea. I don't know where Massachusetts is from, though, and which accent I should be dipping into. I'm from Massachusetts originally myself, but as you can probably tell from my constant videos, I don't really have an accent except for the way I say A's for the most part. Um, so I guess I'm just going to leave it. Examine wall. You really wish your side of the wall had an off switch, which is to say, I really wish my side of the wall had an off switch. Forget it. Come back to work. Okay, you're just going to ask me to recap Homestuck, though. I don't know why you want to sit there and watch me type. This is going to be pretty long. Recap first year of Homestuck. Okay. Should I read it? Way too long to fucking read. This would take up like 20 videos. Besides, you've been watching it. I didn't read any of that. Do something less boring. <laughs> MSPA reader, shut the hell up. I won't shut up, pussy. I will never shut up. You can't make me. You don't control my life. I hate you. I want to be your lover. <laughs> Retrieve arm from background. Oh, hey, Cal. <laughs> oh. Cal, please. Not now. Why don't you keep drawing Homestuck or something? Oh, but I don't merely draw Homestuck. <laughs> Type equal sign, equal sign, greater than. I am about to make a joke. Okay. Whoa, craziness. It's like all the characters ever. I conjure this intrepid fantasy scape with tears bled from the wisdom-weary eyes of 50,000 imaginary magicians. I pull heavy drags from the brooms of inspiration with enchanted bellows marauded from a guild of churlish mystical dwarves. Fast bulbous riddle spriders, spiders, striders, push the silken strands of pure whimsy through hideous abdominal spinnerets, and it is that which I weave this audacious cocoon of exquisite lies. And when it hatches, a great moth of titillation will awaken and roar and beat its wings, and the power settling down will arrest the humors of an enormous terrible old beggar. Relaxing the vulturous leathery vice grip he's fixed around your captive mind. This is stupid. Stop being a wise ass and get drawn. Mm-hmm. On his suspiciously capture log like tablet. His room would give me a serious migraine. And there is that thing that got conjured out of one of the uh random codes. Excuse me. 
and this is the thing about how my memory works, I remember very strange things. So this is how he puts it together. Alright, that won't be that exciting to watch though. I'll pull up Photoshop again. Here's the file I was using for the fourth wall. What do you want me to draw? Can you show us what's going on with John again? Fireflies. Sure. How about if I drag the content from one of the John files under the fourth wall layer, so you can make a more graceful transition out of this ludicrous, highly destructive self-insertion arc? That sounds like a good idea. I'm gonna massage my friggin' throat. Shouldn't be doing this while I'm this tired. Oh, and then you can type something like switch walls view to show us what's going on with John. Here, I'll prepare the GIF file for that. It'll just take a few seconds. Go ahead, say that. Switch walls view to show us what's going on with John. Dang. You decide that's entirely enough of that. If this website becomes any more self-aware in a playfully deprecating yet weirdly self-aggrandizing manner, you're going to go drown a bag of puppies in a sewer. And then one day Hussey wakes up to find that Homestuck has emerged and become something real and self-aware and takes control of its own story in a very strange sort of way. Hello, Tetterzy. Answer GC. <laughs> Whoa. Kind of a weird picture. Gallus Calibrator GC sent ectobiologist EB the file... What? Loasmap.fla? What's this? It's your world map. With your second gate labeled. So you can go there. Oh man, let me drop everything and go there because I'm in such a huge hurry to take more of your advice. John, please. Give me one of your human breaks. I feel awful about killing you. Even though technically you never even died, so I don't know what you're bitching about. Yeah, well, Dave said I did, and I believe him. That is because he and you are best pupa pals for life. Four? Four. Can I be your pal too, John? I don't know, I thought you were okay for a while, but now you're kind of giving me the creeps. Jigus, John. What? I'm invoking the name of your Earth Jigus to express frustration. <laughs> well, it's funny because they've said, oh my god, several times, and people tend to make them say, oh my gog, so I guess they changed their tune. It's weird. Maybe it's early installment weirdness, one of those tropes. <sighs> to express frustration. You mean my Earth Jesus? I don't know. Do I? Do you have a troll Jigus? John, we have the best troll Jigus. You don't even know. Well, really? Or is this a joke? It's a joke. I'm not really sure what a Jigus is. Well, neither do I, I guess. It's pretty much not anything. <laughs> John either admits to not being Christian or being a very lazy Christian. He doesn't seem like he grew up in the kind of household that was heavily religious, so... That makes sense. Recap of Jesus for people who don't know what Jesus is. Jesus was a pretty cool dude. I've uh, gone on a little bit rant before in the past about how I, uh, I'm agnostic personally. I'm fascinated by religion. I admire people who are really dedicated to their religions, but I don't really do religious -y things. But I have read the Bible. I love the stories in the Bible. I love interpreting the Bible. I love its history and its composition and the books therein. Historically speaking, Jesus was just this guy from way back when. Um, supposedly born in Nazareth? Came from Nazareth, one of those things. He was known as Jesus from Na of Nazareth. Anyway, um, he preached. Some say he was the Messiah. He was a prophet of some kind. He supposedly did some miracles. He was just an all-around pretty nice guy. Some people worship him. Some people don't. It's cool. So yeah, I guess they're just, you know, invoking the Lord's name in vain for some reason. It's cool. I do it all the time. I say a lot of weird things. I've been saying glob lately, though. Thanks to Adventure Time. What? Well, they always do. I don't want that to happen ever again. That was weird. Yeah. John, will you please follow the map? Let me earn your trust. If you don't like what's on the other side of the gate, you can just turn around. 
Um, okay, I'll take a look. Open map. Google Loas? Oh, Loas map. I don't know what Loas is supposed to mean, though. So here's point A. Proceed to the second gate. Enter. Oh god. Pausing, because this is going to take way too long. Context stopped being foggy enough for it to say you spend the next 20 minutes staring at this image before you realize it's not a flash file. Touché. I can't see very well, which is part of why I'm not really reading too great. I put drops in my eyes, but they didn't seem to do any good. Is that what I knocked over? I guess that's what I knocked over before I started this video. Um, going over a bit, but I did a lot of reading, so I'm gonna go to 40 minutes today. Okay, so you wound up where Rose is at. Cool. That's good. You guys can finally meet up in person. Ow. What the fuck? And you crash directly into her house. <laughs> Get up. <laughs> Despite the pandemonium of your entrance, Rose is still sound asleep. She must be really tuckered out. It looks like this little guy is awake and ready for action, though. He is adorable. You decide to name him Dr. Meowgon Spengler. No, the cat's name is Cat, John. Because this is based on my friend and our black cat, who we just called Cat. Answer Dave. Oh, so we know which Dave I'm talking to because they're color-coded. Turn tech godhead, TG, began pestering ectobiologist, EB. Wow, okay. You're a little early. That's fine, I guess. Also, you suck at rockets. Ark! What? She tricked me again. Who? Oh. GC. She told me how to get to the second gate, and I went through, but it took me to Rose's house instead. Another prank. Dude, you did go through the second gate. I mean, I don't know why you would listen to her again. Kind of moronic, but that's a whole other issue. She didn't trick you this time. Oh. Then I don't really get this. What were you expecting? This is how it works. The progression of gates is like this whole round robin thing, cycling through each planet. Gate 2 on your planet leads to gate 2 on Rose's. Then you build up to gate 3 above her house, which leads to somewhere else on her planet. You look for gate 4 somewhere there, which leads to the gate 4 above my house, and so on. Wow, okay. Ordinarily, Rose would have already gone through her gate 1, but she's sleeping pretty hard, obviously. And ordinarily, you wouldn't have gone through gate 2 until her house was built up, so you wouldn't fall to your death. But you got your cheat rocket, so that's fine. You see, we all gotta coordinate on this thing. Okay, how do you know all this? Fuck, come on, dude. Oh yeah, you're the orange, Dave. Hey, no offense, but do you think I could talk to the real Dave for a second? God damn it, I am the real Dave. You know, the one who saved your life? I'm more real, actually, because I've been through some heavy shit already hopping around in red-hot gears and eye beams for like a year. You're grinding shit out for your ungrateful ass. Here, check out this code from the future. Not that you fucking deserve it. <laughs> I added another extra fucking. W-I-I-N-189-Q. You're fucking welcome. Wow, calm down. I'm sorry, that's not really what I meant. I mean, of course you're a real Dave, but what I mean is, the Dave from my time is also my friend, and I guess he's in the same boat I'm in, not knowing stuff and all. And I'd feel bad keeping him out of the loop. Turn tight godhead, TG, began pestering ectobiologist, EB. Again. Yo. Oh, hey. I think I pissed off your future self. What did you do? I said he wasn't the real Dave. <laughs> I think I might have really hurt his feelings, though. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Why not? Because I wouldn't give a shit, and he's me. Okay. I'm in Rose's room, by the way. What? Really? Yeah, but she's asleep. Okay. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming down to the computer. Okay. Dave is here. He wants to use the computer. Probably to help you scope out Rose's room and snoop and stuff. I mean, that's what I would have done. If you were alive. So I'm gonna go. Use these flappy ghost wings and tear shit up in space or something. Sure. Hey, Dave? What? In case I forgot to say so before. Thanks for saving my life. Yeah. Turn tight godhead, TG, cease pestering ectobiologist, EB. 
the saddest part of Homestuck. Um. Poor future Dave. He needs some love. Somebody needs to go and preen that boy's feathers. It'll feel good. Snoop! <laughs> oh, John, ever the gentleman. He's in a cute girl's house. And he doesn't dig through her underwear drawer. Okay, I don't know what you're doing here, but I think we can both agree that you got to rummage through as much of her shit as possible before she wakes up. Man, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like the idea of capering around her room while she's asleep. It feels weird. I'm going to wake her up. Dude, no, come on. She's out like a light anyway. It was like... It was some, like, weird future thing that happened that made her sleep. A future thing? Yeah, shit doesn't get more clear than that. Well... Yeah, she won't wake up. So I guess so. But I'm not snooping. Fine, don't. But here, just do this one thing. See those two notebooks on the floor behind you? Yeah? They look sort of like journals. I don't think I should read those. You don't have to read them, I'm not telling you to. What kind of prying tool do you take me for? Just pick them up. You know, tidy up a bit since you made a royal fucking dump of a room just now. Uh, okay. Pick up books. Now we need to do something else. This is important. Like, for important game reasons and stuff. Take the card the books are on, flip it over. Um, so you can see the code. Wait a minute. I see what you're trying to do. I won't tell you the code for Rose's books. Dude, you don't have to tell me the code. Just flip it over and let me know if there's a code that's there is all. Okay. I guess... Yeah, there's a code. Alright, cool. You can ditch the books now if you want. Maybe put them back on the floor so Rose didn't think you were snooping. Seriously, you got some grubby fingers, bro. Why don't you mind your own business there? What is even with you? Ha <laughs> ha, Dave. I think all this laughing made me poop in my pants too hard. Isn't that your birthday package there? Oh, yeah, I think it might be. Maybe you should look at it. I don't think it counts as snooping, since it's technically yours. Yeah, maybe. I wonder if she finished. She was so tight-lipped about the damn thing, I am really curious. Zoom in. Dave, what are you doing? I love how he put on the clothes he got. <laughs> That's adorable. Wow, you're floating pretty high up there. Pretty high up there. Dance time! Okay, she's not really dancing, but it looks like dancing. Some yarn. Cal is just, like, hanging out. <laughs> Yarn bonk. <laughs> I would love to see that. To see Dave being, like, dramatically. Hmm? Hey. Oh, his room decks are awesome. Check Rose's bookshelf. <laughs> you eye your birthday package again curiously. It's awfully tempting to peek inside, but you feel guilty about it for some reason, even though it's yours anyway. You suppose a perusal of her bookshelf would be harmless enough? Just it's a bunch of 12, books. 30. The knowledge within is meant for everybody. They've pestered you with the message... <laughs> TG... Keyboard smash with head. Would you decide not to be bother dignifying with the whole pester log ordeal? Because it's probably just him being a truculent jackass again, so screw him. Look at a book. And take a look at what's in a book. This Ocean Charles, the big man, has the answers. Charles Barkley. You find a book full of beautiful poetry and groundbreaking philosophical thinking by American sports legend Charles Barkley. These are words to cherish. This is a man to treasure. Take a book. You capture Log Rose's autographed copy of this Ocean Charles. Jewels of wisdom like this don't just fall into your lap every day and shouldn't be parted with lightly. You don't show mine if you borrow her book. She's always trying to get you to read her weird books anyway. John, your logic here. I mean, it's just like, I don't want to snoop. Oh, look, an autographed copy of a book. I'm taking this. Dumb. So dumb. 